What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'll be telling you all about how to style football shirts and football jerseys. Hit the clip. Total down my shoes, Euro step my moat. I just caught the ring, yeah my fingers hold. On the finer things, that's just what I do. When in down like three, me and my brother show. Total down my shoes, Euro step my moat. I just cut the ring, yeah, my fingers hold. Hello and welcome back to the Russ Reed and Friends channel, the place for you if you're into music, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, any of that stuff, this is the place for you. So if you wanna see more of that stuff, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you're updated every time I upload. Big clap to all of you guys, to the 50 subs milestone. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful and I love each and every one of you. Remember, at 100 subs, we're halfway there now. We're doing the 100 subs Centurion Challenge where I'm gonna be drinking 100 shots of beer for 100 minutes. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. I know what you're thinking. As you can see, Ross, what is going on? He's not wearing a band t-shirt unsubscribe now wait 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 let me stop you there this week it's a bit different as you know from the title of the video from the beautiful backdrop that i've set up for this video today it's all about how to style football jerseys and football shirts just like band tees i'm a big collector of football jerseys and football shirts i had to i had to do it had to make a video on how to style football shirts these are just some of the many, many, many football shirts that I own. I've only picked four football shirts for this video. If the video does well and you guys want to see more than that, then I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I'll make another video. So just let me know by clicking that like button. Outfit number one and football shirt number one. This lovely number down here. I purchased this last year, I believe. Absolutely love it. When I saw it, I went online and I bought it straight away. It is the PSG X. Jordan bird shirt from last season. How nice is that? It's the second kit that PSG did with Jordan, a cool collab. One thing I like to do with most of my football shirts is get a name and number on the back. Never my own. I like to get a player that I like or a player that I think that shirt will be worth a lot of money in the future. This one was a bit more sentimental. Obviously names I could have gone for, Mbappe, Neymar, some big, big players I could have gone for. But this player holds a very dear place in my heart. Had to just show him a bit of love. And a Herrera. Tell me how many people have this sick PSG top with and a Herrera on the back. I doubt there is many. I'm gonna go for a more smartish casual. I'm gonna wear some tartan skinny fit trousers, roll them up at the bottom, and as usual, pair it with some vans. She swallowed all my pride when she gave me top. You ain't doing jack. I sip it on the rocks. I rock my 22s. Go pray for you, get crocs. You a goofy, watch me take her to the movies. She like Disney, so we sipping on a Mickey. My whole pretty, and your bitch like icky picky. I'm like, really? I think you need to check your bitch. Outfit number two. It's not actually a football shirt, but I had to sort of share part of this kit, if that makes sense. You'll see in a second. I have Juve pink and black away shorts from I think around 2015, 2016. Now the reason I've chosen these is I'm gonna pair them with some Crocs, with a cardigan and just maybe a band t-shirt obviously. Uh, just for a more spring summer fashion meets football vibes. As I said, I have so many football shirts. Like it's a joke, more than band t-shirts. I'm just a collector, I love all things football. I'm wearing the hashtag United away shirt here, up the tags. Every year I'll buy a few football shirts, obviously as as you can tell what team I support, but I like to collect shirts from all over the world. So I've got Juve, I've got Ajax, I've got so many Ajax because that's a club I also really like. And one of the kits that I'm that I love and I cherish is the famous pink away Juve kit that Drake wore, and I have that. But because of the lockdown, half of my clothes are here in Essex, half of my clothes are at my mum's in London. So I've only got some of my clothes and stuff here. So maybe for another video, I can go through do another how to style football shirts or go through my whole collection let me guys know i don't know but these are the shorts that go with the kit i had the full kit i just wear around the house when i go out and play football stuff like that so with this i'm gonna pair a cardigan a band t-shirt and some crocs she swallowed all my pride when she gave me top you ain't doing jack i sip it on the rocks i rock my 22s go pray for you get crocs you a goofy watch me take her to the movies she like disney so we sipping on a mickey my whole pretty and your bitch like icky picky i'm like really 
I think you need to check your vision. We're on to outfit number three. Outfit number three is a top from this current season. And the reason I love it, because of the name on the back. This season's Man United home shirt. Haven't got any badges on the side. Just a really nice top. Got like that bus seat design. Obviously, at the moment, football kits are really going wacky. They're so wacky. Like, when I think back to being a football fan as a kid, and the kits were quite plain and simple, and then I'd watch Premier League through the years, or I'd watch old football matches, and I used to think, what is what was up with those kits? There were so many mad kits. And I feel like we're doing that now. So like in 10, 20 years time in the future, kids then are gonna be saying about today's kits. What are them kits about? So I just wanna get as many of those sort of wacky kits now for the teams that I love. So Man United home shirt this season with Bruno Fernandes. Came from Sporting, like Cristiano. What a guy, what a top. So I'm gonna pair this with, especially if we're going to a football match and it's cold and you wanna rep the top, wear a hoodie underneath, which I've done so many times in my videos. Like don't think that just cause it's a hoodie, it has to go on the top. It doesn't, you can wear a hoodie underneath things and it still looks cool. And I'm gonna show you with this. I'm gonna wear this top with my hoodie underneath and some jeans and just some casual trainers. And it's gonna look sick. Just you wait and see. Yeah, do what I do. When in down like three, me and my brother shoot. Two two that my shoes, you're all step my move. I just caught the ring, yeah my fingers hold. On the finer things, that's just what I do. When in down like three, me and my brother shoot. Bounce it up and down like a dribble. And we're on to outfit number four. This is a top, again, when it came out, just because I felt like this will be worth a lot of money in the future. And I like the team, and it just looks like a really cool kit. Have a look at that. The Juventus Adidas Palace. They said it was like a fourth or fifth kit. How sick is that? Just take it in for a second. But that's not even the best thing about this top. As beautiful as it is, I've made it even better. Cristiano Ronaldo on the back. I don't even know how much this top's worth, but it is not getting sold ever, never. Now, not only is this a collectible football shirt, this is also we're going into hype beast territory here. I'm not a hype beast. Am I wrong? Like it's it's got to be. It's Palace because it's such a unique item of clothing. I'm not gonna go out there with this. Just slapping on a pair of jeans with these. The top does all the talking for this. That's all I need to say for this one. She swallow all my pride when she gave me top. You ain't doing jack. I sip it on the rocks. I rock my 22s. Go pray for you, get crocs. You a goofy. Watch me take her to the movie. She like Disney. So we sipping on a Mickey. My whole pretty. And your bitch like icky picky. I'm like, really? I think you need to check your vision. We're on to the final, the last but by no means least shirt of the video now this is a shirt when it came out i was like mm, i don't know about that but when it came out and i saw the players playing in it i fell in love with it i actually got this as a christmas present from my girlfriend's mom so julie i know you're watching this thank you very much this season's third shirt man united the zebra print like i said earlier this is a shirt that splits opinion and in the future because of how wacky the design is, it will probably be worth a lot of money. But as I said, I'm not selling any of these tops. These are staying with me forever. Dr. Marcus Rashford. Can't not like Marcus Rashford. Um, so again, with this, quite similar to the Juve top, because of the colours, obviously. Because it's quite out there, shirt does all the talking. I'm going to go casual um, with the clothes. I'm just going to pair this with some denim shorts. So proper summer festival vibes with this outfit. This is probably an outfit I'll be rocking. Reading festival this summer. She swallowed all my pride when she gave me top. You ain't doing jack. I sip it on the rocks. I rock my 22s. Go pray for you, get crocs. You a goofy. Watch me take her to the movie. She like Disney. So we sip it on a Mickey. My whole pretty. And your bitch like icky picky. I'm like, really? I think you need to check your vision. And those are all the outfits for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you liked all the outfits and you liked all the things that I put together for today. Comment down below, let me know which of the outfits was your favorite. If you enjoyed the video and you wanna see more fashion, more music, more lifestyle and more vlogs, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So you get a notification 
every time I upload a video, which is every week, guys. Don't forget. At the time of this video, we're on 52 subs, halfway there to our 100 sub goal, so we can do our Centurion Challenge live stream here on YouTube, where I do 100 shots of beer for 100 minutes. I'm actually looking forward to that, so keep subscribing. Come on. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching the video, and I will see you all next week. Show, show,